Hey everybody, Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a great weekend. In a previous mini lesson, I talked about balancing the embouchure to get the pressure points uh, equalized. Today I'm going to talk about a little practice tool which I think will hopefully enlighten you and actually uh, show you some signs of reducing mouthpiece pressure, which is always a culprit that when we play. And it's super easy. You probably have done this already, but if not, it's a great exercise to do. Literally, and I used to do this on Caruso all the time. I love the Caruso method to build my embouchure, especially the seconds method. The seconds are, um, depending on your scale or your mode, I'll use a C major scale here, are literally just half steps followed, two half steps followed by a whole step, and then we ascend as high as possible. So it starts very simple. so forth. You keep the horn on your chops the whole time. You breathe through the nose. You you really push your range up until you're going. And, and you go until failure. One thing I like adding to this is literally taking my instrument and pulling it away when I'm playing. So in other words, if I was doing the what I'll do is where I literally I'm taking the horn. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Where I'm trying to do the absolute smallest pressure point. So I'm not gearing up and pressing. I'm actually physically taking the horn and going this way. This is actually what I call forward pressure. We all use pressure. Anybody who says you don't, I don't know. I mean, there's the guys who are. Yes, I'm not using any pressure, but what's happening is I'm having a very small sound as a result of that. But it's a great practice tool to take the horn and literally move it away. And all, every time I'm doing that, I'm just trying to focus on the center of my armature right here and pulling the horn away. Sometimes it sounds really gross. So it's almost like it's a combination of playing and lip buzz. You can check that out and try it. And literally, it's simple. You ever feel like you're using excessive pressure, literally take the horn, pull it away. See what happens. More often than not, you'll get a kind of a gross sound like I just did, but some more. But you'll also re sort of imagine how little pressure you can get away with. So then you can eventually play with very relaxed hand. It's just like swinging a golf club. You don't want to grip it. You want to relax. No pressure. No pressure. no pressure. By doing this and pulling the horn away, it can kind of unlock things and try to get you to think more about the center of your embouchure and the vibrating surface that you need. I don't know if that will help. That's just another installment of our mini lessons. Take a few moments and hit that subscribe button there. If you have any questions or comments, reach out to us at info at austincustombrass.com. Thanks so much for checking out all these videos. Ciao.